Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shy Guy Rocks 1998 though you can all just call me Matt. Today we're going to keep going with 30 years of WrestleMania. We got 10 years left. Let's go. Let's just fucking get going. WrestleMania 20, John Cena, Big Show, let's go! Ever since heeding the call by Vince McMahon, John Cena has shown what ruthless aggression really means. Do not back down from any challenge. I fear nothing and regret less. And I am right here. And at the Royal Rumble in 2004, Cena would prove no different. Who's it gonna be? It's John so, Cena! I think you're untouchable. What life business has picked up? At the Royal Rumble, everything was going John Cena's way until he ran into a giant. Big Show! Oh. Big Show eliminated John Cena! But a determined Cena wouldn't stay down for long. So it's time we settle this U.S. title. You and me. WrestleMania 20! I accept. Oh, it's on! Wow. You got the franchise player on the Super Bowl stage. So get that gorilla big show out of his cage. I'm gonna walk in the United States champion. And whether you can see me or not, I'm gonna walk out the United States champion. It would be the WWE's newest rising star, John Cena, versus the largest athlete in the world, the big show. At No Mercy 2003, Big Show defeated Eddie Guerrero for the United States Championship and then formed an alliance with then-WWE champion Brock Lesnar. Big Show quickly shifted his focus to a new up-and-coming superstar, the Doctor of Thugonomics, John Cena. Cena had little problem communicating his disdain for Big Show as U.S. Champion. Sorry, I'm trying to... I'm still getting used to this microphone, people. Oh, come on. There we go. The brash and outspoken Cena set his sights on the Big Show's United States Championship at WrestleMania 20. Cena was determined to make a name for himself in his first ever appearance at the Showcase of the Immortals. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the United States Championship. Introducing the challenger. From West Newbury, Massachusetts. I'm a little worried my fucking moving around of the damn... I got worried my moving around of the microphone would end up with me hitting the fucking record button and ending the recording early. John Cena. And here he is, folks. Currently, SmackDown's fastest rising star, John Cena. Eventually, he would become multiple-time WWE Champion. And the certified top guy. And for the first time in his decorated career, the Big Show is defending a title at WrestleMania. The United States Championship that the show has held since last year. Have you ever remembered an athlete? as dominating over the past couple of months as the Big Show has been. But not as dominant as the Big Show. When the Big Show is motivated, when the Big Show is focused, he is unstoppable. John Cena's WrestleMania debut tonight with a chance to win the United States Championship. First match of the evening here at WrestleMania 20. And you have to imagine that both these men have got to be nervous. Well, I'm sure they are, JR. Here we go, folks, the United States title. Let's do it! It's Our first John objective Cena is to get Big Show Big to critical Show damage, hit him United with the attitude adjustment, or as I would like to call it, the, the FU, and pin him. Well, John Cena has been delivering a near oh, no. stream of insults toward the Big Show. And that's a tactic that might just backfire. 
if Big Show gets angry enough. John Cena has really surged as of late, King, but has Cena bitten off more than he can chew here tonight? Well, these two have battled on and off for the past several months on SmackDown, and it all comes to a head here tonight. And he strikes with a quick kick. Cena countered it. And he strikes with a quick kick. He's really going for and it now. Cena with the Thea's press. Luthez press. You hear how his leg connect, King? Plain and simple. Does John Cena have a chance to win here tonight? Does he? Oh, I, I don't know. John Cena has a chance. But in my opinion, I don't think John Cena's going to win. But that's just my view. I mean, John Cena's a world-class athlete. He's on the rise. John Cena has to try and chop down the Big Redwood Big Show. It's important to remember. Well, he's getting Big Show off his feet, so that's that uh, Big Show has been that's in one thing. High stakes battles in his career. Oh no! This is not the Big Show's first barbecue. That's right, Jr. The Big Show has basically faced everyone there is to face, and that's a huge edge in a match like this. No block. Come on, game. Another great kick. He missed. Oh! A great reversal by Cena. Not the most effective striking here. I think after that, I'd be searching in my tights for a white flag I could wave. Look out! And the leg drop. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. John Cena Luthez press right there championship goal tonight and now Cena oh, you can't see me and regroup. He needs to the five knuckle shuffle boom oh Jesus Cena somehow lifting big show Oh, Cena misses. Look at him unloading with the Thez press. John Cena is doing the unthinkable, and the Big Show has got to be worried. Oh, man. I don't think anyone expected John Cena to step up to the Big Show like this. Uh, the must do something drastic at this hey, point. Hey, hey. And the pin. Here's the One, pin. two. two. Kick out! He kicks out. Son of a bitch! Cena's grabbing John the Cena chain. A chain in hand. He, can't he can't use, use that. Cena's gonna get Cena, the ref can see you. What's your obsession with the title anyway? You can't be cheating like this. The referee there, doing it's the gone. Right thing. Oh yeah! Uh oh. Hey, wait a minute! Wait, no, no! Punch! AA Big Show and win by pinfall in 10 seconds. Ah! Go, go, go. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. And with plenty of time left in our, in our hands. To win the United States Championship. He needed the brass knuckles to do it, though, JR. I mean, it is WrestleMania, and I guess whatever it takes, but John Cena is the new United States Champion. Congratulations to Cena, and for winning that matchup, we've unlocked the big show, WrestleMania 20. John Cena, WrestleMania 20. And the United States Championship, John Cena, Spinner Belt. At the 2004 Royal Rumble, Bill Goldberg's WrestleMania dream is severed by an envious beast. Brock Lesnar, Lesnar's not in the Royal Rumble match! 
until an unlikely source delivers an opportunity for retribution. You know, SmackDown's got a pay-per-view coming up in San Francisco here in a couple of weeks. Called No Way Out. I thought maybe I'd give you this ticket. You take this ticket, Bill, and you're sitting on the front row watching Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And there he is! Goldberg has crossed the barricade! Goldberg just speared Brock Lesnar! Gotta be kidding me! Eddie Guerrero as the champion! It's Goldberg versus Lesnar, and Austin's a guest referee at WrestleMania! Oh, God! It's Brock Lesnar! What the hell is going on? I cannot believe this! Brock Lesnar f by Stone Cold Steve Austin! If it wasn't for Stone Cold Steve Austin giving Bill Goldberg that ticket, I would still be the WWE Champion. Lesnar's been in possession of Austin's ATV. I'm bringing you Stone Cold! Come and get it! This has got the ingredients for an explosion. First off the steel post. What the hell is Stone Cold Steve Austin going to do Sunday? But he is the special guest referee for Brock versus Goldberg at WrestleMania. Goldberg entered the 2004 Royal Rumble match only to have the WWE Champion Brock Lesnar interfere, causing his elimination. The following week on Raw, Stone Cold Steve Austin gave Goldberg a front row ticket to No Way Out 2004 and told him, don't do anything I wouldn't do. During Lesnar's WWE Championship match at No Way Out, Goldberg speared Lesnar, which helped Eddie Guerrero win the title. On the February 22nd, 2004 episode of Raw, McMahon announced a match pitting Brock Lesnar against Goldberg at Mania 20, with Stone Cold Steve Austin as the guest referee. Now, many people know of this match as the worst WrestleMania match in existence. Because Brock Lesnar was set to leave, Bill Goldberg was set to leave, and the crowd just shat all over the whole thing. It didn't help that since both of them were on the way out, they kind of phoned it in. They really phoned it in. So why would they include this matchup in WrestleMania 20? And not either of the World Championship matches. Well, the reason for that is the WWE title match had Kurt Angle. And Kurt Angle, at the time of this game's release, was contracted to Total Nonstop Action, also known as Impact Wrestling. As for the World Heavyweight Championship match, that featured Chris Benoit. And if you know your wrestling, you know why they can't have him in. Don't make me have to explain it. The following but now, let's stop worrying about those two and get to the fucking match. Introducing first, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar from the University of Minnesota, where he was an NCAA champion, made his WrestleMania debut last year at Safeco Field in Seattle, where he became the youngest WWE champion in history. But this match tonight is not about championship gold, it's about finality. This is not about championships, it it's about putting an end to the rivalry. Goldberg? You guys can hear that because I still don't understand everything with this, this new microphone. I have a pet game, rabbit. She's trying to drink some water over there and it's making some noise. Not sure if it'll catch on the mic or not. Oh, the crowd is chanting you sold out. They don't want to see them go as in fight. They want to see them go as in leave. And I don't blame them. All right, we got two objectives. Hit a spear, hit a jackhammer, win by pinfall. Again, just like with uh, Undertaker versus Diesel, it means we got to get two 
finishers. So let's go ahead and do that. We're playing as Goldberg here. Oh god, the suplex! I never thought I would see. Goldberg has some real dislike for Lesnar. These two never really got along to begin with. But when Brock interfered and eliminated Goldberg from the Royal Rumble, well, he may as well paint a target on his back. Goldberg then You see, the thing is with this match, because of how horrible the uh, the real life match is, you could you could literally do anything and you'd have a better match than them. Of course, the two of them would uh The two of them would um Let's see, redeem themselves with their match at WrestleMania 33. Bill Goldberg, one of the standouts Ow. from WCW, is not known for his technical prowess or amateur wrestling acumen. Oh, that's putting it kindly, JR. Goldberg personifies the term ground and pound. Like a hammer. Nice reversal there. How in the world did he counter that? behind those strikes he sweeps his leg and there's the STO you hear how his leg connected come on game let me finish this quick I don't want to end this video with I don't want this video ending with Lesnar and Goldberg please wait a minute Goldberg's looking oh Whee! Jesus that's gotta hurt knees to the gut This pillar of ungodly might is recognized. All right, what's his signatures here? Okay. As, as one of sports entertainers. Oh no! Most pop the counter. No, you don't, game. He was able to reverse that. Military press, spine buster. And now Goldberg, he's got it set. Don't want, don't turn, Lesnar. Spear! Spear! Holy shit! Lesnar's conduct in recent weeks has been somewhat disappointing, to say the least. Rumors are running rampant that Lesnar is contemplating leaving the WWE. Sounds like some of these fans want to see him go. So Lesnar wants to play football? Well, Goldberg's been there and done that. Well, be that as it may, these two monsters have more pressing matters at hand to solve. Oh, shit! Well, he was able to reverse and get out of that. And, of course, Steve Austin is our special guest referee. And you'll see why soon, Al. Goldberg with all that intensity. Lesnar with that quiet seething. Both these men are world-class athletes. Then there's Stone Cold again. Perhaps the straw that will stir the drink. No pun intended in this matchup. The straw that will stir the drink. What does that mean? JR, what does that mean? I doubt there's a man walking the face of the Earth King that can intimidate Brock Lesnar. The reversal from Goldberg. Goldberg showcasing his hard hitting. Oh shit. Smash mouth slobber knocking style. It's safe to say Lesnar isn't used to facing someone. Oh no, my face! Ow! 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 As Lesnar can take. You gotta wonder, JR. Both these men have dominated their opponents during their careers. It's gotta be a shock to both guys to fight someone so similar in strength and power. Oh no. Brock Lesnar is about as blue chip as they come. But right now, it's Goldberg who has versus his opponent. Give me a minute. All right, here we go. Don't get, up. get up. Not this. Up we go. <laughs> Jackhammer. He's done. On the One, two, three. And Goldberg, breaks Goldberg gets the victory. And we have enough time for another match. Goldberg's hand. There was no mistake about the three count. Emphatically, 
Goldberg hit the big three. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped because something happens here. Oh, a stiff, and I mean stiff, shot it. Hey, you. Boom! Boom! Ha ha ha! Send the crowd home happy, motherfuckers. Austin just stunned Lesnar and Goldberg right out of the WWE ring. Yeah, fuck you both. For winning that matchup, we unlock Goldberg, WrestleMania 20, Brock Lesnar, WrestleMania 20, The Mania 20 Arena, and Stone Cold Steve Austin Mania 20. And now it's time we move on. WrestleMania 21. In the 2005 Royal Rumble match, John Cena and Batista were the final two competitors. In controversial fashion, Cena and Batista went over the top rope and landed at the same time. Ostensibly ending the match in a tie. Mr. McMahon appeared and restarted the match under sudden death rules. Batista would eventually eliminate Cena and win the Rumble. The next month, Cena earned a spot in the SmackDown brand's WrestleMania 21 main event, challenging WWE Champion John Bradshaw Layfield. Cena would go on to lose his custom Spinner United States Championship, which JBL proceeded to destroy to signify the end of the Doctor of Thugonomics. Theodore Long decreed a stipulation, saying neither John Cena or JBL could attack each other before Mania 21. Cena, unable to attack JBL, took his frustrations out on JBL's limo and got arrested in the process. JBL would then deliver a low blow on Cena. The following contest is scheduled oh, I'm going to enjoy this. And is for the WWE Championship. I hate this motherfucker. I am, I hate JBL so goddamn much as a wrestler, as a person, and he is just complete and utter scum. There's the champ, the longest reigning champion in 10 years. JBL is all business tonight for 242 days, a survivor. John Bradshaw Layfield has been champion. It was June 27th. At the great American Bash of last year, that JBL won the title. What the fucking do for him? The toothy grin of a competent champion, JBL, who has survived just about everything over the past eight months as champion. Oh That's yeah, cool. JBL successful, King. Well, JBL has victories over The Undertaker, Booker T, Big Show, and in matches like this, the Texas Bull Rope match over Eddie Guerrero. A triple threat match, a fatal four-way, the champion, whether you like him or not, is a survivor. Alright, now then, now that the commentary's finished, let's see the actual and good guy here. The challenger from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing 248 pounds, John Cena! John Cena's new single is entitled "My Time Is Now." Perhaps the time is now. Oh yeah, this is when he dinner. debuted his new single, which would become his theme song for the John rest of his goddamn career. Get his hands on JBL. General Manager Theodore Long did not allow any physicality, or John Cena would lose his title opportunity. Oh, John Cena, he's got that look in his eye. He's, he's focused. focused. He's, he's in the JBL. zone. But you gotta remember, JBL is a tough... I don't, I don't care, King. Let me just get to the match. Let's get to the fucking match. For the WWE Championship. Let's go, let's go. I gotta... Mm -hmm. I'm too hyped. I'm too hyped for this. You can't stop me. JBL is the ah! reigning WWE champion in the last decade. John Cena wants to put an end can't fucking to stop JBL's me. championship reign. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Boy. Fuck you, ref. <laughs> yeah, but JBL has pushed Cena to this point. Cena won his WrestleMania title shot Ow. fair and square at no way out. And JBL is can't stop me cuz you can't see me. Since. That's an understatement, King. JBL caught JBL is no stranger to a WWE ring. Can't stop, he won't stop. Wars in this ring, scratched and clawed his way 
to WWE Championship Gold. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having way too much fun beating the crap out of JBL. I just kicked my capture card. That that was incredibly worrying. Let me look at the match rules here. DQ's on. Damn. Cena in his first WrestleMania main event Shit. looks incredibly motivated tonight. Tonight is the biggest opportunity in the young career of John Cena. Woo! Can he climb the final rung of the ladder? Oh, the final rung of the ladder is the This isn't a ladder match. How am I everything? Immensely talented superstars who could never take that final step. He was able to reverse that. A sharp, crisp elbow drop. One more time. Oh no! Belly to belly! And there's the reversal. A vicious elbow drop. Delivered with a Oh my god. Voice. Boom! He's heading back up. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh and he misses. Oh, nice counter. Oh no! Spine buster! JBL. JBL, a self-made millionaire, says he needs to keep Woo! the WWE Championship from John Cena. In JBL's mind, let me just John fix my Cena shoes real quick. Lacks the class. To be the WWE Bitch, champion. you lack class. John Cena is a gutsy fighter. If he wants the WWE Championship, I believe he can take it. It's going to be mighty difficult taking the WWE Championship away from a seasoned veteran like JBL. You said it, JR. Take it away. John Cena will have to take the WWE Championship Up. from JBL. Uh, Ooh, no! Nice you gotta talk about the experience factor and how much more experience JBL has over John Cena. Oh, absolutely. And JBL will use that to his advantage. But John Cena's gutsy. He's here to fight. JBL, one of the no! WWE champions ever, is here to fight too. And oh, that power bomb! JBL tries for it and Cena no. kicks out. What strength. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Turns it around on him, and what a move. He almost took his head off with that Larry. John Cena. Doing all he can to bring the fight to JBL. The game just gave him a, a, a fucking finisher for no WWE reason. WWE champion. I can't believe it. JBL can't believe it. I don't think anyone would have believed that John Cena would not only hang with the WWE champion, but John Cena is making a huge statement here tonight. JBL has been through the wars. JBL knows that if he's going to make a stand, he needs to do it right Whoop. now. Oh, JBL has the experience, JR. Let me just fix my John shoes Cena real quick. And on his side. <laughs> I'm letting that thing run the fuck out. Heading back into the ring. Come now. on, you fuck. Two. Shit. I call my fair share of JBL matches, but I can't recall seeing the champion as focused uh, as I'm spraying. No! No, no, no! JBL, JBL. Well, there's no come on, come on! Going for the pin. Here's the cover. Three. Fuck! He's done it. He's done it. I can't thought we were going to go a couple videos He's without a fuck up. God it. damn it. Da -ba fuck! Rematch, god damn it. Let me look at those fucking match rules. Damn it, DQ's on. Longest reigning WWE champion in the last decade. John Cena wants to put an end to JBL's championship reign. It doesn't get any simpler than that, folks. Yeah, but JBL has pushed Cena to this point. Cena won his WrestleMania title shot fair and square at No Way Out. And JBL has been you won't stop me. That's an understatement, King. JBL cost John Cena the United States Championship. 
and then destroyed Cena's custom-made Spinner Championship. John Cena has been waiting for this night for so long. Ah! Now it's JBL is no stranger to a WWE ring. He has fought wars in this ring. Scratch and fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. WWE Championship gold. And JBL will not give it up easily. Let Cena me just fix my shoes real quick. WrestleMania main event looks incredibly motivated tonight. Tonight is the biggest opportunity in the young career of John Cena. Can he climb the final rung of the ladder? Oh, the final rung of the ladder is the most uh, one, JR. History is filled woo! with immensely talented superstars who could never take that final step. Ha! And there's the reverse. Suck it! Oh, this is dangerous right here. Heads up! Woo! I didn't like the trip. I like the landing less than the destination. No good. Woo! Big elbow. Heading back into the ring now. Fuck you, game. Oh, he reversed. Fuck you, game. Reversed. JBL, a self-made millionaire, says he needs to keep the WWE Championship from John Cena. In JBL's mind, John Cena lacks the. You can't see me. To be the WWE Champion. Oh, John Cena is a gutsy fighter. If he wants the WWE Championship, I believe he can take it. One, it's going to two, be really fuck the WWE you. Championship away from a seasoned veteran like JBL. You said it, JR. Take it away. John Cena will have to take the WWE Championship from JBL. He will fight to the bitter end to retain his WWE Championship. Fuck you. Oh, John Cena may be kicking it Pump up those up shoes. Here. Kiss my ass. And here we go. Back Kiss my ass, Jables. You can tell by how JBL's postured that he's measuring him for a move that's designed to do much more than just win the match. Mm -mm. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa! Woo! You can't see me. Time he has to get up. It's Boom! Cena doing all he can to bring the fight. Come to on! Cena is determined to become the WWE uh, champion. I can't believe it. JB Hope can't believe it. There's fuck no yeah! Way. He's gonna need an ice pack. One, two, two, three. This one is over. Woo! And we passed 30 minutes. But you know what? You know what? I feel like pushing it. Let's go for a fourth. Let's go for a fucking fourth match, people. The Cena era has fucking begun. From winning that match, we've unlocked JBL, WrestleMania 21, the WWE Undisputed Championship, the Mania 21 Arena, and John Cena, WrestleMania 21. Now it's time for Mania 22. On Monday Night Raw, John Cena beat Edge to win the WWE Championship. Mick Foley served as the special guest referee and counted the pin. Edge, unhinged by losing the championship in his Mania main event spot, focused his rage towards Foley. He blamed the hardcore legend for his title loss and challenged him to a match. Foley rejected Edge's challenge for a wrestling match, but instead challenged Edge to an Extreme Rules match. Edge had awoken the darkest part of Mick Foley's psyche. At WrestleMania 22, Edge would find out exactly how far the hardcore legend was willing to go. This is an extreme Think you know me. For one fall. Okay, maybe In that enthusiasm is getting a bit too much. No no disqualifications. And balls count, count anywhere. anywhere. Introducing first, from, from Toronto, Toronto, Ontario, Ontario Canada. Canada. 250 pounds, the Rated R Superstar, Edge! Oh, Jesus Christ, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Edge and Lita totally did it on Raw. Totally. Making his way to the ring, 
from Long Island, New York, Mick Foley. Edge blame referee Mick Foley for losing the WWE Championship. The question remains is can the father of four, Mick Foley, once again dig deep inside himself and find the evil son of a gun that left an ear in Germany, left burning flesh in Japan, left buckets of blood on five continents, and God Jesus knows Christ. <laughs> how many years of his life at hell in a cell in Pittsburgh. Well, I don't know if Mick can find that dark place where the hardcore legend lives, but he certainly doesn't look too jolly tonight. He don't look happy. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, go, go! This one is as okay. as oh! It gets. Edge I forgot, it's an Extreme Foley Rules match. Losing the WWE Championship to John Bitch! <laughs> Don't you fucking hit me with that! And Mick was the rep in that match. And afterward, Edge attacked Mick. Alright, our first objective is to Irish whip Foley at light damage into the ropes. But first, we gotta get him there. <laughs> and the bat's helping. Helping a lot. Not just any match, JR. A hard no to pain. I don't think he likes pain, but I don't think he hates it too much either. <laughs> time Mick I don't know what to tell you. To red... Boing. Again, oh, Lita! Lita right? on Mick! Lita in this match. Oh, no! Oh, the cactus clothesline! Bang, bang! Oh, my God, I love Cactus Jack. Get Foley to critical damage in the ring. I can do that. Get me up. <laughs> Pick me up, Foley! Quit running your mouth and let them do this thing. Do, 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 do. What's he gonna find? Pardon me. Get in. Get in here, Foley. I got a chair with your name on it. Foley! Get in here! Get in! Get your sledgehammer. Let's fucking go. That mm. landed. Oh my god. It might be a good idea to just stay down after that. Oh, that should do it. I mean, how much how many more <laughs> can they take? Oh, it might be time to run. Sledgehammer. Oh. Can cut you. Break your bones. Simply put permanent damn and it gets in. Oh. Shot. Jesus. Well, there's no sportsman like conduct. Oh my god. Foley's right gut has so got to be hurting. That sledgehammer right to the side of the head. Come on, rep. Get in there and get that thing away from him. He hits the drop kick from an incredible vertical leap. Wow, he didn't expect that to happen. Boy, he was and I didn't expect that either. That. Strike. It's nothing but air. In an opportunistic maneuver by Edge. Oh, that sledgehammer right to the side of the head. Get in there and get that thing away from him. Come on, rep. Get in there and get that thing away from him. King, you said that twice in a row. Get in there and get that thing away from him. Okay, three times. Oh, man. Edge is such a crafty performer. Where are edges finishers real quick? Striking spear, spear five. Okay. And fools him with the reversal. Mick spear! Has a long history of absorbing massive amounts of damage. His knees, particularly, are a well-known weakness. Yeah, but there's, ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed. And now I need to spear him. Brutal matches one can imagine. He was thrown off the hell in a cell in Pittsburgh. He was thrown 16 feet. Oh no, the, 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 the leverage pin. The same night, the man lost an ear in Germany. He lost an ear in Germany. After tonight, you can add Edge versus Foley at WrestleMania 22 to the long list of matches where Mick Foley has left a part of himself in the ring. Is that even something to be proud of, JR? Is that? Well, I'd say it's something to be proud of, no. but then again, I'm a. What the fuck just happened there?
as much as Mick Foley, the I, I ran to try and they come. Mick Foley, like the WWE I ran to try and uh, climb the turnbuckle and I ended up if the game ended up acting like I was being Irish whipped into it he is the, the fuck opportunist edge knows how to win under pressure well tonight he'll have to push himself further than ever before want to try again fuck boy apparently you do even if it ends his own career <laughs> you can't do it you can't cut it anymore Foley edge is known for his willingness to put his own body on the line in TLC matches yeah, and McFoley is known for jumping off the roof of his own home. Oh, execution. There was no defense. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Spear! Oh, that spear came out of nowhere. And now Lita is Lita's got a table, and she's fluid. saturating it with lighter fluid. Can you hear oh, no. Here the table's on fire. Oh, he's going over. Oh, he caught. He's caught. Oh, no. Edge, don't do it. Edge, don't do it. Edge, don't do it. Oh, my God. A spear through the burning table. Dear God Almighty. End the match already. I'm just remembering. I'm remembering that fucking... Do you guys remember when... Uh, when Edge had the, uh, like Edge and Christian had a fucking, had a show on the WWE Network. And they just fucking, they had a, they had an episode with Foley. When did I start bleeding? They had an episode with Mick Foley and they sang a version of We Didn't Start the Fire. <laughs> we didn't start the fire. The table was broken and I burnt my scrotum. <laughs> Kids don't watch this. <laughs> Good. I'm sorry. I had to. I had to end now. Funny note. Well, whether you like it or not, Edge remains unbeaten here at WrestleMania. At what price? He looks like he's been through Vietnam. I did not make Foley bleed. I did not make Foley bleed. Foley did not make me bleed. The fuck are you talking about, game? Anyway, for beating that match, we've unlocked Mick Foley's Mania 16 attire, for some reason. Lita from WrestleMania 22. The Mania 22 Arena. The ECW Heavyweight Championship from 06 to 08. And Edge's WrestleMania 2 attire. That's his main attire, which is why it has the render there. Now then. Now we finish there. I will end the video here. In the next episode, we will be going once again to The Undertaker's legendary dis undefeated streak as he faces off against Batista for the World Heavyweight title. I don't remember what else happens at Mania 23. I think, I think John Cena fights Shawn Michaels there. I think. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode.